Well, this incident follows on the heels of an upmarket Kuro private school in Pretoria, which was racially segregating its classes. Now, taking us through some of the effort, uh, effects rather, and aftermath of uh, such a crime uh, is Professor Emma Ilo from the University of Pretoria. We chat to her now from our Pretoria studios. Good afternoon, Prof, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Good afternoon, Prof. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Oh, good. Wonderful. You're with us, Prof. 20 years into democracy, uh, a social cohesion and eradicating a culture of violence uh, at school level clearly is uh, still very much a challenge. Uh, and racial tensions in our schools persist. Uh, despite efforts to promote uh, social uh, cohesion. Uh, what should we be doing to promote education for social cohesion uh, in, in a democracy and in multi-ethnic uh, multi societies, Prof? Well, I think we should continue to be vocal about the importance of social cohesion and not be diverted when we have incidents like this happening. Um, we are an emerging democracy, so I think um, the advocacy for social cohesion must become stronger and stronger <coughs> as we move into our democracy. Uh, our schools, Prof, and this has been said uh, by a number of experts, uh, by and large should mirror society uh, and are indeed in a unique position to serve as uh, cradles of social innovation uh, to address such mm. tensions uh, like social cohesion through education. Uh, how should we be handling uh, social interaction and uh, diversity management at our schools right now? Fortunately, there are many, many examples where really, really good and constructive and positive work is being done. And one of the dangers w that we ha face when we have incidents like this Jan Kim Torp incident is that it detracts us and that we make generalizations about the entire uh, um, school uh, sector in South Africa. And I think it can diminish the, the really good work that is being done to build social, social cohesion, to celebrate diversity. Mm. Uh, Prof, the family has to be uh, one of the most, uh, if not uh, the most influential socializing contexts uh, in childhood and throughout adolescence, that is. Uh, to what extent do parents play an essential role in modeling behavior and teaching right from wrong? Uh, because surely this kind of criminal behavior, this brutality uh, must be coming from somewhere. Parental example is critical. Children learn from what they see much more from than from what they hear. And in the home, it's a wonderful opportunity for, for children to see um, ways of re um, resolving conflict in a positive way, of stress release, of managing um, problems as they emerge in a non-violent way. Unfortunately, with children who become violent themselves, we've seen that they've often been exposed to violence um, in their own lo lives, not, not always, but sometimes. So it becomes a very unfortunate circle that is very difficult to break if it uh, originates in the family. Mm. Uh, uh, Prof, speak to us about the psychological impact uh, of such a crime on the victim. Uh, surely it brings up issues such as anger, uh, aggression, uh, even self-blame. The psychological effects of a trauma uh, uh, and a crime being committed against an individual like this can last a lifetime. It's unfortunately not something that you deal with once off and then it's over and done with. We often see an ebb and a flow where, where victims um, are dealing with it and then it comes back in another way later on in their lives. We are also seeing examples though where victims are deliberately choosing not to be a victim and to be a survivor and to turn this very bad experience in their lives around um, to not be just defined by that but to take something of that experience to, to perhaps help others and to raise awareness about these issues. Prof, very quickly before I let you go, uh, this assault in Jan Kempdorp took place in full view of other boys at the school and yet no one intervened to stop. Uh, what motivates this kind of uh, behaviour? Is it uh, fear or need to feel accepted by peers? I think with children the key issue there is adult supervision that uh, students should have an, an opportunity to have gone to an adult 
um, <laughs> because uh, uh, sociologists have tried to understand the difference between what an individual would do when they're alone and what they will do in a group for many, many years. And the intricacies of that is still very difficult to understand. Professor Irma Elo from the University of Pretoria, thank you so much for your time on the SABC News Desk. Moving on to other thank news you. now, a woman who was beaten to death